Alex, Samantha, Tina, and Liam stood outside the abandoned mall, their eyes filled with a mix of excitement and trepidation. Are you sure about this? Tina asked, her voice trembling slightly. Of course, Alex replied, a mischievous grin on his face. This is going to be an adventure. Samantha rolled her eyes. You and your adventures? What if this place is really haunted? That's the best part. Liam chimed in, already heading towards the entrance. Just think of the stories we'll have to tell. The group exchanged a look, then followed Liam into the dark, foreboding building. The air inside was thick with dust and the sound of their footsteps echoed eerily through the empty halls. Wow, this place is creepy, Samantha whispered, her eyes darting around nervously. I know, isn't it great? Alex said, his voice filled with excitement. Tina shuddered. I don't own you guys. Maybe we should just go home. Don't be such a wimp, Liam teased, leading the way deeper into the mall as they explored the first floor the friends began to notice strange occurrences. The lights flickered, and they all felt the unsettling sensation of being watched. Did you guys see that? Samantha asked, her voice barely above a whisper. See what? Alex replied, his brow furrowed in confusion. I thought I saw something move over there, she said, pointing towards a dark corner. The friends fell silent, their hearts pounding in their chests. The air seemed to grow colder, and the shadows seemed to stretch and twist. Okay, maybe we should get out of here, Liam said, his voice shaking slightly. But before they could make a move, a loud crash echoed through the mall, followed by the sound of something, or someone, approaching. The friends huddled together, their eyes scanning the darkness for the source of the sound. What was that? Tina whispered, her voice trembling. I don't know, Alex replied, his hand instinctively reaching for the flashlight in his pocket. Samantha gripped Liam's arm, her knuckles turning white. I think we should get out of here. No way, Liam exclaimed, shaking off her grip. This is our chance to find out what's really gone. Are you crazy? Tina hissed. This place has given me the creeps. Alex flicked on the flashlight, its beam cutting through the gloom. Come on, guys. Where's your sense of adventure? And Samantha sighed. Fine. But if we get attacked by a ghost, I'm blaming you. The friends cautiously made their way deeper into the mall, their footsteps echoing in the eerie silence. Look, there's a staircase, Liam said, pointing towards a set of stairs leading to the second floor. I don't know, Tina said, hesitating. Maybe we should just go home. Tina, don't be such a chicken, Alex teased, already starting to climb the stairs. Samantha and Liam exchanged a look, then followed Alex, with Tina reluctantly bringing up the rear. As they reached the second floor, the friends were greeted by an even more unsettling sight. The walls were covered in strange symbols and markings, and the air seemed to crackle with an unseen energy. Whoa, Liam breathed, his eyes wide with wonder. This place is seriously messed up. I told you it was haunted, Tina said, her voice barely above a whisper. Alex shone his flashlight around, his brow furrowed in concentration. Well, there's only one way to find out what's really going on here. The friends exchanged a determined look, then continued their exploration, determined to uncover the truth behind the haunted rumors. The friends climbed the stairs, their footsteps echoing in the eerie silence. Tina shivered, wrapping her arms around herself. I don't like this, you guys. Relax, Tina, Alex said, his voice filled with excitement. This is going to be fun. Samantha rolled her eyes. Fun? Are you serious? This place is giving me the creeps? Liam chuckled. That's the best part. Just think of the stories we'll have to tell. Tell stories. Tina scoffed. 
I'd rather not have any stories to tell. Thank you very much. As they reached the second floor, the friends were greeted by an unsettling sight. The walls were covered in strange symbols and markings, and the air seemed to crackle with an unseen energy. And whoa, Liam breathed, his eyes wide with wonder. This place is seriously messed up. I told you it was haunted, Tina said, her voice barely above a whisper. Alex shone his flashlight around, his brow furrowed in concentration. Well, there's only one way to find out what's really going on here. The friends exchanged a determined look, their curiosity and apprehension growing with each step as they ventured deeper into the abandoned mold. The friends cautiously made their way down the dimly lit hallway, their footsteps echoing in the eerie silence. This place is giving me the creeps, Samantha whispered, her eyes darting around nervously. Come on, Samantha, Alex said, his voice filled with excitement. Where's your sense of adventure? Adventure? Dina scoffed. A... I think we're way past adventure and straight into horror movie territory. Liam chuckled. Relax, you guys. We're just exploring an old abandoned mall. What's the worst that could happen? As if on cue, a loud crash echoed through the hallway, causing the friends to jump in surprise. What was that? Tina squeaked, her voice trembling. I don't know, Alex replied, his brow furrowed in concentration. But I'm going to find out. He started to move forward. But Samantha grabbed his arm, her grip tight. Alex, I really think we should get out of here, she said, her eyes pleading. Suddenly, a strange ethereal light began to flicker in the distance, casting an eerie glow over the hallway. Whoa, did you guys see that? Liam exclaimed, his eyes wide with wonder. Yes, we saw it. Tina snapped, her voice shaking. And I think it's time we get out of here. The friends exchanged a nervous look, their apprehension growing with each passing moment. The unexplained noises and ghostly apparitions were starting to unnerve them. And they began to question whether they should continue their investigation. Samantha and Tina cautiously made their way up the stairs, their footsteps echoing in the eerie silence. I can't believe we let the boys talk us into this. Tina whispered, her voice trembling. Samantha nodded, her eyes scanning the dimly lit hallway. I know, I know, but we can't just leave them here. Why not? Tina huffed. They're the ones who wanted to explore this creepy place. Because they're our friends, Samantha replied, her tone firm. And we're not going to abandon them. Tina sighed, her shoulders slumping defeat. Fine, but if we see one more ghost, I'm out of here. The two girls continued their ascent, the air growing colder with each step. Do you hear that? Tina suddenly whispered, her eyes wide with fear. Samantha paused, straining to listen. Hear what? Ah, that, that sound, Tina stammered, her gaze fixed on the shadows ahead. Samantha strained to hear but the only sound was the pounding of her own heart. I don't hear anything, Tina, she said, her voice low and soothing. Let's just keep moving. Tina nodded, her face pale, and the two girls continued their ascent, their nerves frayed by the eerie atmosphere. As they reached the second floor, Samantha and Tina decided it was time to regroup with Alex and Liam. But the unknown had become too much to bear and they needed the comfort of their friends. The basement, huh? Liam said, his voice tinged with uncertainty. Ah, you sure about this, Alex? Of course. Alex replied, his eyes gleaming with excitement. This is where the real action is. The two boys made their way down the dimly lit staircase, their footsteps echoing in the eerie silence. Man, this place is creepy, Liam muttered, his gaze darting around nervously. Relax, dude, Alex said, his voice filled with confidence. We've got this. As they reached the bottom of the stairs, the boys were greeted by a sight that made their blood run cold. What the... 
Liam breathed, his eyes wide with shock. The basement was filled with strange occult-like symbols and markings. The walls covered in a strange viscous substance. Whoa, Alex whispered, his brow furrowed in concentration. This is some serious stuff. Liam took a step back, his face pale. I think we should get out of here, man. This place is giving me the creeps. Alex hesitated, his curiosity warring with his growing sense of unease. Yeah, maybe you're right. Let's head back up and regroup with girls. The two boys quickly made their way back to the main floor, their hearts pounding in their chests. Whatever was lurking in the basement, they knew they weren't prepared to face it alone. Samantha and Tina cautiously made their way down the dimly lit hallway, their senses on high alert. I don't like this, Samantha, Tina whispered, her voice trembling. I really think we should go back. Tina, we can't just leave the boys down here, Samantha replied, her brow furrowed in determination. Suddenly, a strange, shadowy figure appeared in the distance, causing the girls to freeze in their tracks. What was that? Tina gasped, her eyes wide with fear. Samantha gripped Tina's arm, her own heart pounding in her chest. I... I don't know, but we need to get out of here. The girls turned to flee, but the figure seemed to glide towards them, its movements unnatural and unsettling. Run! Samantha shouted, and the two friends took off down the hallway, their footsteps echoing in the eerie silence. And meanwhile, in the basement, Alex and Liam made a startling discovery. Dude, check this out, Alex said, his voice hushed with awe. Liam peered into the hidden room, his eyes widening at the sight of the strange occult-like symbols and artifacts. What is this place? Liam breathed his fingers tracing the intricate markings on the wall. I don't know, Alex replied, his brow furrowed in concentration, but I think we're on to something big. Suddenly, a loud crash echoed through the basement, followed by the sound of something, or someone, approaching. The friends exchanged a nervous look, their curiosity and apprehension growing with each passing moment. Whatever was lurking in the abandoned mall, it was clear that they were not alone. Alex and Liam stood at the entrance to the hidden room, their eyes wide with a mix of curiosity and trepidation. Guys, you're not going to believe this, Alex said, his voice hushed. Samantha and Tina hurried over, their faces etched with concern. What is it? Samantha asked, her gaze darting around the dimly lit basement. We found some kind of... A cult room, Liam explained, his brow furrowed. It's covered in these weird symbols and artifacts. A cult? Tina squeaked, her eyes widening in alarm. I knew this place was haunted. Relax, Tina, Alex said, placing a reassuring hand on her shoulder. We don't know what this is yet. Samantha peered into the room. Her curiosity peaked. Well... We won't know unless we take a look. Yeah. Tina grabbed her arm, her grip tight. Are you crazy? We should get out of here, not go exploring some creepy occult room. Tina's right, Liam chimed in, his voice wavering. This place is giving me the creeps. The friends exchanged a tense look, their nerves frayed by the eerie atmosphere. Suddenly... A strange, unsettling feeling washed over them, as if they were being watched. Did you guys feel that? Alex whispered, his eyes darting around the basement. The others nodded, their faces pale with unease. I think we should get out of here, Samantha said, her voice barely above a whisper. The friends turned to leave, but as they did, a sense of dread and foreboding seemed to cling to them the presence of something sinister growing stronger with each step. The friends stood at the threshold of the hidden room, their curiosity warring with their growing sense of unease. Are we really going to do this? Tina asked, her voice trembling. We have to, 
Alex replied, his eyes gleaming with determination. We've come this far. We can't turn back now. Samantha placed a reassuring hand on Tina's arm. It'll be okay, Tina. We're all in this together. Liam nodded, his brow furrowed in concentration. Let's just take a quick look around and then we can get out of here. The friends stepped into the room, their senses on high alert. The air was thick with an oppressive energy, and the strange symbols and artifacts seemed to almost hum with an unseen power. Whoa! Alex breathed, his gaze sweeping across the room. This is some serious stuff. Tina shuddered, her arms wrapped tightly around herself. I don't like this, you guys. I really think we should leave. Not yet, Samantha said. Her eyes narrowed as she studied the intricate mockings on the wall. There has to be something here that can tell us what's going on. Liam moved closer to one of the artifacts, his fingers tracing the intricate designs. I wonder what this is for. Suddenly, a loud crash echoed through the room, causing the friends to jump in surprise. What was that? Nina cried, her voice high-pitched with fear. The friends exchanged a tense look, their hearts pounding in their chest. I don't know, Alex replied, his voice low and serious. But I think we're about to find out. The friends remained resolute in their quest their curiosity and determination fueling their exploration of the abandoned mall. Even in the face of the growing sense of dread and, and foreboding that seemed to permeate the very air around them, the friends huddled together, their eyes scanning the hidden room with a mix of fascination and trepidation. This place is seriously messed up, Liam whispered, his fingers tracing the intricate symbols on the wall. I know, Alex replied his brow furrowed in concentration. But there has to be a reason why all of this is here. Samantha moved closer to one of the strange artifacts. Her curiosity peaked. Maybe we can find some clues that will help us understand what's going on. Tina shook her head, her face pale. I don't know, you guys. I have a really bad feeling about this. Tina? We've come this far, Samantha said, placing a reassuring hand on her friend's arm. We can't just turn back now. Tina sighed, her shoulders slumping in defeat. Okay, fine. But the second thing started to get really weird. I'm out of here. The friends began to carefully examine the room, their senses on high alert for any sign of danger. Suddenly, Alex let out a sharp gasp, his eyes widening in shock. What is it? Liam asked, his voice tinged with concern. And guys, I think I know what's going on here, Alex said, his voice barely above a whisper. This place, it's not just haunted. It's, it's cursed. Her friends fell silent, the weight of this revelation settling heavily upon them. Faced with the knowledge of the mall's dark history, the friends found themselves at a crossroads. Should they continue their investigation, risking the unknown, or should they leave this place and its secrets behind? The friends stood in the hidden room, the weight of their discovery heavy on their mind. A curse? Tina whispered, her eyes wide with fear. Are you sure, Alex? Alex nodded, his expression grave. I'm positive. All the signs are here. The symbols, the artifacts, the presence we've been feeling. Samantha shuddered, her arms wrapped tightly around herself. What does this mean? What are we supposed to do? Liam stepped forward, his brow furrowed in determination. It means we have to get to the bottom of this. We can't just leave this place and its secrets behind. Are you crazy? Tina exclaimed, her voice shaking. This place is dangerous. We should get out of here while we still can. Tina's right, Samantha said her gaze darting around the room. We don't know what we're up against. Maybe we should call the police or something. Alex shook his head, his eyes narrowing. No, we can't do that. This is our discovery, our responsibility. We have to see this through. The friends fell silent, 
the tension in the air palpable. Finally, Liam spoke up, his voice firm. Alex is right. We've come this far, and we can't just turn back now. We're in this together, no matter what. Samantha and Tina exchanged a look, then nodded in agreement. Okay, Samantha said, her shoulders squaring with determination. Ah, let's do this. The friends stood united, their resolve strengthened by the weight of their discovery. They were ready to face the unknown and uncover the truth behind the mall's haunting, no matter the cost. The friends took a deep breath, their eyes scanning the hidden room with renewed determination. Okay, let's do this, Alex said, his voice steady. Samantha nodded, her gaze resolute. We're in this together, no matter what. Tina hesitated, her fingers trembling slightly. I'm still not sure about this, you guys. Liam placed a reassuring hand on her shoulder. We've got your back, Tina. We're not going to let anything happen to you. Tina took a deep breath and nodded, her expression hardening with resolve. The friends began to carefully explore the hidden room, their senses on high alert for any clues that could help them unravel the mystery. Look look at these symbols, Samantha murmured, her fingers tracing the intricate markings on the wall. They seem to be some kind of ritual or incantation. Alex leaned in, his brow furrowed in concentration. Yeah, and these artifacts. They look like they were used in some kind of occult ceremony. Tina shuddered, her arms wrapped tightly around herself. Ah, guys, I really think we should get out of here. This place is giving me the creeps. Liam moved closer to Tina, his expression reassuring. We're not going anywhere, Tina. We're going to figure this out together. The friends continued their investigation, their resolve strengthened by their shared purpose. They were determined to uncover the truth behind the mall's haunting, no matter the cost. As they delved deeper into the hidden room, the friends began to piece together the puzzle, uncovering the dark history that had been buried for so long. With the truth revealed, the friends now faced a new challenge. How to put the restless spirits to rest and bring an end to the mall's haunting. What or or through or the friends stood in the hidden room, their eyes scanning the eerie symbols and artifacts with a mix of fascination and trepidation. The more we uncover, the more I feel like we're in over our heads. Samantha murmured, her brow furrowed in concern. I know, Alex replied his voice low and serious. But we can't turn back now. We have to see this through. Tina shook her head, her face pale. I don't know, you guys. This place is giving me the creeps. What if we're in real danger? Liam placed a reassuring hand on Tina's shoulder. We're all in this together, Tina. We're not going to let anything happen to you. But what if we can't stop whatever's going on here? Tina whispered. Her eyes filled with fear. The friends fell silent, the weight of their discovery heavy on their minds. Suddenly, a loud crash echoed through the room, causing them to jump in surprise. What was that? Samantha gasped, her heart pounding in her chest. The friends exchanged a tense look, their hands instinctively reaching for any makeshift weapons they could find. I don't know. Alex replied, his voice steady despite the fear that gripped him. But I think we're about to find out. The friends braced themselves, their resolve hardening as they faced the unknown. They had come too far to turn back now, and they were determined to uncover the truth, no matter the cost. As the unseen force drew closer, the friends stood united. Their friendship and their shared purpose the only things that could guide them through the darkness that threatened to consume them. The friends stood united, their determination fueled by their shared purpose. We can do this, Alex said, his voice steady and resolute. Samantha nodded, her eyes narrowing with focus. We've come too far to turn back now. Tina took a deep breath, her hands clenched into fists at her sides. I'm scared, you guys, but I'm with you. 
Liam placed a reassuring hand on Tina's shoulder. We're all in this together. No matter what happens, we'll face it head on. The friends braced themselves as the unseen force drew closer. Their senses heightened and their resolve unwavering. Suddenly, a dark, shadowy figure materialized before them, its eyes glowing with an unearthly light. What is that? Tina gasped, her voice trembling. I don't know, Alex replied, his grip tightening on the makeshift weapon in his hand. But we're going to find out. And the friends charged forward, their cries of defiance echoing through the hidden room as they engaged the supernatural entity in a fierce battle. The fight was intense, with the friends using every ounce of their strength and determination to hold their ground. Samantha's heart pounded in her chest as she dodged the creature's attacks, her mind racing to find a way to defeat it. Liam gritted his teeth, his muscles straining as he fought to keep the entity at bay, his eyes filled with a fierce determination. Tina, despite her fear, refused to back down, her hands shaking but her resolve unbreakable. And Alex, the leader of the group, fought with a ferocity that belied his youthful appearance, his eyes burning with a fierce determination to protect his friends. In the end, the friends emerged victorious, but not without a heavy toll on their emotional and physical well-being. They had faced the unknown and prevailed, but the scars of their ordeal would remain with them for a long time to come. The friends, battered but not broken, turned their attention to the task of putting the restless spirits to rest. We have to do something, Samantha said, her voice tinged with exhaustion. We can't just leave this place the way it is. Alex nodded, his expression grim. I know, but what can we do? We barely survived that last encounter. Tina shuddered, her arms wrapped tightly around herself. I don't know if I can go through that again. Liam placed a reassuring hand on her shoulder. We're all in this together, Tina. We're not going to let you face it alone. The friends gathered around the strange artifacts and symbols, their minds racing as they tried to piece together the puzzle. These symbols, Samantha murmured, her fingers tracing the intricate markings. They seemed to be some kind of ritual or incantation. Alex leaned in, his brow furrowed in concentration. If we can figure out how to use them, Maybe we can put the spirits to rest. Tina's eyes widened with a newfound determination. Then let's do it. I'm not going to let this place haunt us any longer. The friends worked tirelessly, their bodies aching, but their spirits unbroken. They knew that they had to put an end to the mall's haunting, no matter the cost. In the end, their efforts paid off, and the restless spirits were finally put to rest. The friends emerged from the haunted mall, their faces etched with a newfound understanding of the power of the supernatural and the importance of facing one's fears. They had been through a harrowing ordeal, but they had emerged stronger and more resilient than ever before. The bonds of their friendship had been tested, and they had proven themselves worthy of the challenge. As they walked away from the abandoned mall, The friends knew that they would never forget the experience and that it would forever shape the way they viewed the world around them. 